Well, the radar picture still looks quite busy and quite colorful going into this late Sunday afternoon, early evening. Happy Daylight Savings Time. Jonathan Kovac with you once again. The general movement of our snow is moving from west to east as this widespread area of snowfall tries to diminish out of our region. There's a bit of a break between Timmins, Driftwood and Capus Gasing for a good hour or two this afternoon where the snow came to an end for Capus Gasing and started again. But the visibility has improved to between 5 and 15 statute miles between these two manned observation sites. One big bulk or area of snowfall leaving the Timmins area towards Highway 101 East and Highway 11 north of Earlton. Now the bulk of snowfall just west of Capus Casing. Despite this, the direction of travel for this cell of snowfall southeast of Timmins is going from southwest towards the Quebec border. But it's trying to shift over to the opposite, moving from northeast towards the southwest behind Capus Casing. And that's as a result of a wind shift, which I'll show you in just a moment. Next question is, where is our low pressure system? Of all places, if you're in Matheson, Ontario, Rod, you'll see on the real-time wind chart that the winds are spinning backwards around that low pressure right at the junction of highways 101 East and 11 North. And there's a wind shift out of the north in the higher levels of the atmosphere, which we will notice later on this evening going into the overnight. The wide shot does show that the low pressure system is sitting just east of Timmins right over here. And you can see how deep this low is with the high pressure system, which I'll show you that in just a moment. Widespread area of winds coming out of the north, north northeast, which we will see transition into the overnight hours for northeast Ontario. Speaking of high pressure systems, guess who's helping to fuel in cooler temperatures with the northwest winds? You got it. New high pressure system that's sitting right over the Ontario Manitoba border. A very strong pressure gradient of 1,025 millibars, mixing with our low that's just crossing over the Quebec border at 994 millibars. So the pressure difference between these two, with the clockwise wind here and the counterclockwise wind here, means this trough is going to welcome the northerly wind shift. And this other trough of warm and cold air aloft will now affect the Quebec region as the low pressure system continues to spin backwards and eventually depart Northeast Ontario. I'll leave you with the info pages with today's observations and we'll keep an eye on the conditions for overnight tonight.